Hi Sexy Sag, it's Evelyn. I have a read for you today. I'm going to use the Rider weight, and I'm going to use some clarifiers as well. We'll see what kind of energies are going for you today. So I pre-shuffled. I'm just going to shuffle a few more times. Sagittarius. October 25th, 2019, going on to this week for you guys, Sagittarius. Okay, so your first card out is the Six of Pentacles in the middle, reversed. And then your challenge is the Queen of Cups. On the ground is the Five of Wands. So who are you fighting with? And in the recent past, you have the Ten of Swords reversed. Crowning in your head is the Four of Wands. Nice. And then going forward is the Lovers. Wow. Uh, how you see yourself is the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Around you is the Fool reversed. Uh, the blocks that you guys need to clear is the six, of, or excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles reverse, and then we end up on the Seven of Cups reverse. And I pull a few more cards. It makes like a hangman shape at the end. So that's we have the Queen of Swords here. So it's kind of like what's hanging in the balance at the end of your read, okay? And then we have the Empress reverse. Okay, and I have one final card that'll be a surprise for you, okay? So the en the underlying energy is the Ace of Swords, but I do work with cards beneath the underlying energy. So let me just arrange the cards the way I need them. And we'll go from there. All right. So the cards underlying here, whoops. We have the cards underlying here. We have the three of, of cups here, and then the star card, and then there's the, that's the eight of cups, that one there with the moon there. And then we have the two of cups upright, and then the ace of swords reversed. So coming into this, we have, you might have been together with friends recently, and then, uh, and really shining your light there, your dreams coming true, having a great time, healing and then needing to walk away and go within. So after some time with friends or family or coming together in some respect socially, then you need to take time apart from that to go within and then reconnect with yourself or, or your partner, whoever you may be living with. I have the two of cups here. So if you're married or if you have a, a, have a boyfriend or girlfriend, or it's just about reconnecting with yourself after you're out with other people. So you're realizing this about yourself that you can't just go out and party like you used to. Now, if you go out and socialize, you need to focus on reconnecting to yourself when you get home. So then we have the Ace of Swords and the underlying energy coming up to this. So there's this beautiful energy that comes up to all of a sudden, there's this Ace of Swords, which is a lie or a split, or some kind of divide, needing to cut through the crap. But why? Because we just had this beautiful energy why all of a sudden is the Ace of Swords there? So let's see. So in the recent past, we have the Ten of Swords reverse, which is like the worst is over. This cycle is done of this pain here. Um, and so there might, there might be a split. The Two of Cups is there, but maybe you guys are agreeing to disagree and go your separate ways, but I'm not seeing that yet, just the split or the lie. So let's see where this is going. The main energy has to do with being out of balance, which you're recognizing about yourself. And I'm losing my voice as I picked up this card. You're realizing that when you're out of balance, you don't, you, you're don't you seeing it, you don't feel good after that. So that was why you were recognizing when you're out with friends or family, you need to come home and walk away or just get out of the situation and have some time by yourself to reconnect again, to rebalance. But there's an inequity here 
You may have felt like the worst was over, but maybe there's still debt to pay. Maybe there's still, maybe though you, you thought you solved the situation, whatever inequity was going on between you and another person <clears throat> is still ongoing. The challenge is the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups is positive. She's upright, and she's loving and nurturing, but maybe she's giving too much, and you're the one who owes more to her. There's definitely some conflict in the foundation, and that's along the same lines as the Ace of Swords. So whatever you were fighting about has to do with this, this lie or this split, some kind of divide some kind of whatever the inequity is between you and I feel like you're working it out but it looks like your challenge is because the Queen of Cups gave more to you and now you owe a lot in return so you feel indebted to them but you do have crowning in the uh, crowning position the four of wands which is home and family happy celebration There is, there's, part of it is that there's just a lot of stability there. You know that you're stable no matter what. The stability has nothing to do with the inequity in the relationship. That part of the relationship or the home and the family is really good. There's stability there. But this has to do with the give and take between you and another, whether it's you and one person or more, but it seems very much about one-on-one -on -one relationship right here. So there's been some fights lately and you may have separated or just take, taken a time out, a break from each other to see how you really felt. And maybe, Sag, you're changing, and although the Queen of Cups may be a really good person, maybe you're just not resonating with them that much anymore. And that's the difficulty there. There's home and stability, and this good person there and it can be There may be, I'm not getting like third party situations here. Just that the challenge, the challenge is that queen of cups, but I don't get it. She's, I mean, she's positive. So she's more in the right. <laughs> so there's something you need to do either, uh, maybe put more effort into the relationship with this person, or maybe this person isn't the person for you. Maybe they're a really good person, but not the right one for you. They may not resonate with you on every level and there is some conflict here in the foundation and yet stability crowning in the near future you have the lovers card so you know this it may be great in the sex department but maybe the one-on-one -on -one other stuff is a challenge for you guys maybe you don't like all the same stuff and so you kind of always push everything else aside and just use the sex life to fix it because then you have the wheel of fortune is you so this can be a downturn or a turn of fate, not in your favor, right? It's not the worst thing in the world. I'm used to this is a major arcana, but it's just not time yet. Or we're just going into the retrograde. It's like, let's take some time to just slow down and really look at this more closely. It's time for you to really see what you're looking at. But it's like the lovers isn't in your best interest. It's not... Is it the, the lovers is aligning with the wheel of fortune reversed and around you is someone who doesn't have faith in themselves or this is how other people see you they're saying why you know why you're staying you clearly don't have much in common you complain about each other all the time but maybe you think that you're sexually compatible and you won't find someone else like that and you have the, the money you don't want to let go of the money but I'm not really getting a big money thing here in this read this is about being a, a fool or doing foolish things not not having faith in yourself, falling on your face, embarrassing yourself in front of other people, or feeling like you're going to fall from grace if you disconnect from someone who's a really good person because then people will see you as the bad guy, as the bad girl. The block that you guys need to clear has to do with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so she's reversed. Maybe you feel like if you disconnect from this Queen of Cups because she's upright, that will make you the reverse, the bad person. And this could just be a friendship. It doesn't have to be 
It doesn't have to be a lover. It can be someone you have a deep affection for. The challenge is there may be spending issues with this other person. And this could be, um, you know, sisters, mother, daughter, as well as a, a female, female relationship where spending is an issue for the one person. Or the, the queen of, of pentacles is really more about the superficial life. Or maybe they don't work. But either way, there's a financial loss for her. That's the, that's the block that you need to clear. There's something here where you're worried, you're worried about how another partner might have control over you in a relationship. Whether it has to do with money or sex or anything there. It's like you, you want to make sure that you have control of the situation. So the other person is always giving to you too much. But that creates an imbalance and ultimately you won't be happy. Even if you think you're getting everything that you want. You end up here with the Seven of Cups reversed, which is about dumping out attachments that no longer serve you. What doesn't make you feel good anymore? It's, it's needing to get real about all of your options. Are you doing all these activities and buying all these things that you don't need and all these activities, are they costing you too much money and, and you guys are going broke because you're spending too much? Or just spending too, too much time doing other things you love and not enough time with each other. You kind of are living together but living two separate lives. So you have sex and you live together, but that's pretty much it. It's kind of that kind of tone here. So we have, and it's a lot of, fem, it's all feminine energy here. So if you are a guy, you're surrounded by women all the time. And if you're a girl, you have women everywhere. So coming out of the needing to get real, then you have the Queen of Swords speaking her truth about letting go of um, emotional attachments, things that no longer serve you for your highest good. And then you have the Emp but you then it's like she's talking, she's talking to the Empress Reverse. This could be a mother who you're not getting along with. So there may be a relationship where the family is in the way. And maybe you're, you're talking to other people and people are saying to you, why are you letting your mother or your mother-in-law get in the way of your relationship? The Empress Reverse can just be a, a lack of abundance as well, that mentality. And then I told you there's another card after the Empress and it's actually the High Priestess upright. So a lot of feminine, not only just feminine, but really powerful feminine energy here. I do want to clarify a bit. Let's see what's coming up. So I'll use my Kipper deck first, and then I'm going to maybe use my Thoth deck a little bit. So, yeah, it's a little messy. <laughs> the main thing is the, the inequity here, the imbalance. Something's not fair. What's the issue with the Queen of Cups? What is the issue with the Queen of Cups? Why is she the challenge? Why is the Queen of Cups the challenge for Sag? Okay, so there's despair. Okay, so someone might not be able to find work. And so they feel that they're not contributing to the relationship, but they may not be sharing their feelings. So this Queen of Cups may be offering you love and, and support, nurturing, intuition. Um, and you maybe you're maybe you're looking for a new job and you can't you can't find one. Maybe you're leaving a situation and in order to do that you need to 
get a new job but there's nothing you know it's kind of dry out there and you know you're not who you are without your job because you're all about work especially if you're a masculine energy coming into this there's definitely journey energy coming up here why why is the ace of swords reversed there all right so there's definitely some kind of split all right this is the ace of swords whether it's in a marriage or there's a third party or there's a mother interference but either way there's some kind of divide whether it's the mother the couple is going away from the mother or this is a third party situation and making it official so whether the mother doesn't agree on who you want to marry or you're splitting up from the mother or you're splitting up between the in the couple because of a third party situation so it's definitely kind of split but there's a coming together about this split Why do we have, and that's all in the past though. The negative stuff is in the past, but you still have this inequity in the relationship. Maybe you thought getting rid of this third person, the mother or whoever it is, or splitting up the relationship would solve all your problems, but there's still inequity here. Why are the lovers in the near future? There's expectation and a gift. So this is what's coming up for the lovers. The lovers could be somebody new. Maybe the inequity in the relationship was that you didn't have a sex life and there's a new lover coming into the picture. There's the gift of change. There's certain expectations here. That someone, someone's expectations aren't being met. And then somebody else is coming from behind and actually meeting those expectations. And so they're, they're pushing a change. Yeah, there's definitely someone about to leave if they haven't left already. Why do we have the... Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed the challenge here for Sag? We first had the family room come up. That's 21 is the world. It's like completion there. So somebody might be dealing with empty nest syndrome. So maybe they had one child left and their child got married and left. Or you have a parent living with you and is interfering. Or the masculine in the relationship is thinking about somebody else. So there's several different situations here. But it's interesting because there's, no th there's no threes in the read. And yet there seems to be this third element here. The fool, the fool reverse is coming up as this one here. And so he's obviously impoverished on his own, but he may have voluntarily um, gone into this situation. Like, he may not be a poor person. He might have had money, but he had to quit his job in order to leave a relationship to get what he wanted. Or someone may have led him astray, may have scammed him as well. We have this kind of energy coming up around it. The false person in the community. So someone may have given him a false sense of safety and may have landed him in prison or somebody else. There's court stuff coming up here. I want to go to my thought deck. So here's my thought deck here. So what's going on here? We have a lot of women. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the que Queen of Pentacles reverse. We have all the water signs, could be, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles reverse, which is all the Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And we have... We have Libra, we have Aries energy. We have the Queen of Swords up there too, so all the air signs. Libra, Aquarius, and uh, Gemini. And the major arcana we have Libra, Gemini, Aries, Taurus, and Pisces. 
So the Queen of Pentacles reversed could definitely be a uh, Taurus. The let's see what we have here. We have no we have no water sign major arcana here. And we have Aquarius in the underlying energy as well. So there's a lot of air here. We have all three air signs present. I'm sorry, we do have the Pisces. So the Queen of Cups could be a Pisces, the one that's your challenge. And then the uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse could be the Taurus. But then we have the Queen of, of Swords, which would be an air sign. And, and we have all three air signs, so it could be anything with the air signs. All right, so let's see. I want to know more about who these people are. And why is the Four of Wands up there? Fine. We have all these issues. We've got the Lovers and the Four of Wands. The other Four of Discs is the Power card reverse. So the Four of Discs is like the Four of Pentacles. And it's saying here in this card when it's upright that someone's in power because they feel there's structure there. Because that's a very moderate place to be in the four of pentacles you know it's not a ton of money but it's very structured and stable so someone feels in their power which can be an illusion usually when you let go of that that's when you really have the power to be able to let go of a little bit of money to actually make more money but this is coming up reversed as letting go of that power maybe you don't have the power at the table maybe the house doesn't belong to you then we have the sun and success so in letting go of the power in the business, then the sun and exposure and success all come out for you. Maybe you're not leaving a situation because then you won't have the power, you won't have the upper hand, but maybe your power isn't doing that, actually, doing exactly that. That's where the sun comes in. Your happiness, your full energy, your success. That's the six of discs. That's where the balance comes in. There you go. Because here the six of pentacles is upright. So your power is in letting go and maybe spending a little bit of money, but it's also about repairing things. Letting go to fix things up. Letting go of the control at work. Maybe you don't need to be the boss anymore. Maybe you need to leave that job and not be the power person anymore. Expose all, and that's when the success and balance comes in. Why the, why the lovers? Why are the lovers? There's imbalance with the lovers and the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. So again, they could be lovers, they could be friends. We have peace and, and fortune reversed. The peace is coming up with the two of swords upright. Okay, and then the um, wheel is reversed. It's like, it's like pretending not to know, being blind, pretending that everything's fine is not in your favor. You know, there needs to be a change here and you're not allowing it. There's no truce. And no pleasure, because the Six of Cups here is called pleasure. There's no truce, no pleasure. You'd want both of these to be upright. Whoever you're with may be stable and there may, you may have a sex life with them, or it may be a friend that you have a ton of affection with that you've known for a long time, but it's not, it's not working out. You think it does because you have the stability and the, and the sex, but there's a problem there. Why do we have the Seven of Cups? Completion, you need to complete the cycle. You need to dump all emotional attachments that no longer serve. And do it but not, you don't need to express all your feelings. You have the swiftness card reversed. It's saying you don't need to express all of your feelings. You just say what needs to be said, that's it. And then there's a tower and the princess of swords, which is like a page, there's a message. There's a tower moment, which is a big event, a sudden event, without expressing too many feelings here. Then we have the sudden event of the tower. Sorry, I'm like getting confused which way I'm going here. And then after that, we have the message. This is the message news or a child coming in to say something. It's a feminine child. 
if it is a child or just feminine news or a message and that has to do with the Queen of Swords she's speaking a message to the Empress reversed so what's what the Empress reversed and then the High Priestess all right so the Empress reversed and has the prudence this has to do with imprudence but it's really about falling from the tree right the apple doesn't fall far from the tree well in this case it is it's someone who doesn't agree with how their family is, so they need to leave. This is where the empress, the mother figure, does not agree with someone here. And so you need to detach from them. You may not want to, maybe a mother that you need to detach from, or they need to get out of your house. And here we have the priestess, <laughs> that's funny, we have the prudence for the empress, and then the, the priestess comes up reversed here, right afterward. And we have the high priestess but the high priestess is up right here so it's like saying that the empress is not using her intuition and she may be saying they don't know what they're doing but she actually may be the one who's falling from the tree truth <laughs> the ace of swords comes up next what's with the high priestess why is the high priestess there? We need to get real. And so the high priestess is coming up as with clarified by the magician reversed. And then valor. So someone who feels insecure and manipulative may have lost the tools that they needed to do what they need to do is standing up for themselves. Or standing up for someone else. So if the Empress is feeling down because she's reversed the high priestess may be coming in to stand up for her but she's doing it in a manipulative way or the empress is doing it in a manipulative way it's like the queen of swords is talking about the empress and then the high priestess is coming in to stick up for her but the high priestess is being manipulative which is contradicting more about the high priestess please High Priestess is coming up as love reversed. And this is like the Two of Cups, I think. Yeah, it's the Two of Cups reversed. And then the Prince of Swords, which is another page. So they're acting like children. With the Empress reversed and the High Priestess, this could be two older women <laughs> who do not get along, like two sisters or friends, or two, two different parts of the family, like your you, your parents and the in-laws, they do not see eye to eye. But it's funny because it feels like in this situation, the one you don't normally get along with is actually standing up for you to the children now. Okay. And something with older feminine. Again, the two of cups reversed. So it starts off upright, the two of cups in the underlying energy, and now it's reversed with a message. So a message comes out and it causes two people to start arguing again. And at the bottom of the deck now we have like the wild card here. All right, I'm going to pull you an oracle card because I need more information. Okay, we're going to Journey of Love. I don't want it to go too much longer. If you have more clarity you want to put in the comments, please feel free. It's just a lot of women. There could be older women. It could be a boss or a mom and an aunt or a grandmother. But it looks like two older women who are not who not who don't get along. They may be causing problems for other people. So they may be different living situations where you're living with your parents or they're living with you. But there's like no male energy here. It's all feminine energy. I'm not saying that the Sag can't be the male, but everything around you, whether you're male or female, is feminine energy here. So for Sagittarius, can we get some more clarification, some more information about what's going on here? That came right out. Okay. The pearl threaded, 38, which is the Queen of Cups, which is the challenge for you guys. So let's read. That would be good to read. Let's see what else, how many cards are coming up here. There may be a number that we need to know. deck. Oh, that's it. More. Jeez, I want me to count the whole deck. Mm 
<laughs> it's gonna be that way. Hold on. And it has come at the whole deck. They would have. I've I never had this happen before, where they want me to get a certain number. Infinity. Well, let's see why the pearl threaded and why infinity is coming up. Because the pearl threaded can go on and on and on because we're all connected. You see the pearl threaded without connecting the pearls, right? We're all connected within the center, right? The center of our being, our souls are all connected through our higher selves. And that's 38, which is the challenge, the Queen of Cups. Let's see. All right, 38. Though we labor through the illusion of individuality and have to face our inner challenges in solitude, our spiritual transformation is not an independent event, nor is it for our victory alone as we approach the enlightened way of all-embracing love. Each human is a pearl in the Divine Mother's garland, gradually assuming luster and revealing beauty, worth, and radiance over many lifetimes. Together we're creating a precious offering in return for her gift of life. We can learn to draw on the collective effort to allow our own journey to become integrated into the journey of the group without being weighed down and instead to be lifted up. To do this, we honor the thread that connects each of us as one divine being, just like the various fingers that belong to one hand and spirits connecting to me. Then we honor the pearl essence of our divine nature that we are capable of growth and transformation becoming divine beauty. This oracle brings you a message. You're to shift your perspective to allow all groups that you're involved in to become a source of energetic lifting rather than depletion. If a group you're involved in cannot do this for you, then you may not be in vibrational resonance and it may be time for you to seek a group that is more energetically supportive of your vibration. Trust your feelings and don't be scared to open up and allow yourself to connect with others. That way you can truly know if a group or gathering is for you, if you need to move on. But do trust that you are not alone on your journey and the soul connections that will nourish you will draw you to them like strands of pearl pearls on the Divine Mother's necklace, and Mary Mother came up, Mary Mother, <laughs> Mother Mary came up in my uh, my Twin Flame read today, so, the and the Dark Mother energy, so a lot of Mother stuff is coming up today. The poem just says, hearts apart remember love, and time stands still. So even if it's your mother that you're not getting along with, and that's the group that you're not getting along with, that family, it, you may need to detach from them. You can stay, still stay in touch with them, doesn't mean you have to cut them off completely, but like I said, there may be a living situation that just should not be. And it's, it's okay to say no. It doesn't matter if it's your mother or your child, whatever it is. You need to love yourself first, Sag. So we just have that one and infinity. The one and the infinity is all the same because you're connecting with the one. All right. I do want to... I want to pull another past life card because the mother came up in the past life. I wasn't even going to pull any oracle cards in that read today and I ended up pulling it by accident. So I'm going to pull you guys a past life card too. Sorry it's going longer. I'm trying to keep these under 30 minutes, but we're not. Yours is just some more, a little bit more complicated. But it's about allowing yourself to disconnect, even if it is family, right? doesn't mean that you won't be back in their lives again at some point, but sometimes we just need to disconnect and find a group that resonates with us in a better way. Okay, baby. And these are the same cards that came out earlier, plus the Celtic one. These are just, I have to count these. For me. Okay. The bottom of the deck is forgiveness, so there needs to be forgiveness here. See how pure that is? And you see how the feminine, which is the smaller bird, is like the mother hen, kind of, she's still mad at him. <laughs> he's not looking at her, and she's pissed because he's not looking at her. He's not paying any attention to her. This is why I'm mad at you, because you don't want to even look at me when I talk to you. So maybe that's something you need to not be with anymore. So the first card came out with baby reversed. And then we had the biblical, which is very much like Jesus and the carpenter. It's also like the Eight of Pentacles. It's about working with your hands, being creative, one step at a time, and not overworking it, you know. Just doing what you love to do. 
And then we have um, Celtic energy too. And here the Neanderthal man can't, comes up. You can see him in the cross. You know, it definitely looks like a Neanderthal there in the cross. And being that there's Irish energy here, um, a strict adherence to this religion. What, no matter what religion it is, it doesn't have to be Catholic, but... It seems like there is an, uh, there's a, hmm, a disagreement regarding a father and their child and the church. Also could have to do with abortion issues. I'm getting the father saying, like, I didn't work all my life for my child to not be connected to me anymore. It comes to a point this father may have to choose between his child and the church. Or the child might have to choose between their father and the church or their father and their religious beliefs and their beliefs. But they're very, it's coming up as that Neanderthal, you know, it's the old way of believing for the male and what the male thinks the female should do or their female child, or just that the children should always obey them. But I'm getting too that you can't just throw your, you can't just throw your children away. getting the baby falling out of the nest right so we need to sometimes children need to be pushed out of the nest because they don't want to leave and the parents struggling with um, you know what's the right thing to do so there's a lot of religious versus children things and how to be a parent here that are coming up for Sag anything else I'm getting it. There's a lot of green. Like these cards don't have a lot of color in them. When they do, it's very obvious. It's like there's a lot of green in the father, but even more so the church here. And then there's no green in the baby there, which is the heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have completion here. It's a completion of a cycle and wisdom. But any which way, it's, it, there's definitely something about moving away from the, uh, the Neanderthal type ideas of what a father's supposed to be. And that he's the boss. If you don't, if you don't pull back on your ways, you're going to lose your child. That's what I'm getting. So be wise. Be wise. Um... I'll pull one last from the Tarot, Sexual Magic, and then we got to go. It's getting too long here. Any what? Just one last card for Sagittarius. One last card. Okay. Okay. And for me, this is very much about the karmic relationship that goes on and on and on, but it's not good for either one of you. You know, it's like the couple that they're both drunk. And there's food all over the floor, there's glasses all over the floor, and so they're codependent on each other because of addictions, and they should leave the relationship. It's 
someone doesn't know how to express their feelings that needs to put it out there. So we have these three cards coming up together. Okay. All right, guys. I hope that was helpful. Have a great week, Sagittarius. Bye.